Six months ago, we reserved a 15 passenger van because we have a lot of stuff that we need to get on this road trip. We get a phone call the day before our road trip saying we do not have a 15 passenger van, but we do have an eight passenger SUV. So that's the start of our road trip. So today we are leaving on a 10 day road trip. I have everything laid out here. There is quite a bit of stuff that we are gonna be taking with us. Are you ready to go, Micah? Yeah, backpack ready. Backpack ready, good job. We have all of this I need to pack in the Suburban. I don't know, it's a lot of Put stuff. Put that in for my us. Uh, Where's your thumbs up shirt? In my room. In your room, yeah. What do you think, Noah? Are you ready to go on a road trip? No. Yeah? He said and we no. are more, we are more family. Trip? We're the more family. You ready to go on a road trip? Yeah. Yeah? You're so cute. Are you girls ready? Yeah. Yes. All right, how do you think it's gonna go? Yeah. 24 hours on the road. Um, I don't know. And we're stopping halfway at a hotel. Yes. Just to break up the trip. This trip we tried doing um, about a year ago, but that was when the whole coronavirus broke out and they were shutting all the borders down. My sister came out from New Zealand for my eldest sister's wedding and we were gonna all go to Arkansas and have a wedding and family reunion. But because they were shutting everything down, they were canceling flights, New Zealand was shutting their borders. So it was just like chaos and we ended up canceling the trip and my sister had to rush back to New Zealand and we end up, before she went to New Zealand, watching my eldest sister's wedding online and we made in our kitchen area a setup like a wedding, all the chairs lined up. We had the laptop on the table and the girls had their flower girl dress, dresses on and my sister had her bridesmaid dress on. This trip hasn't happened for the last I think two and a half years. So Noah wasn't even around. What? Noah, you weren't even around last time we took the trip. I want to see my bowl. All of this stuff right here, I am going to be putting in these two bags. Um, so I hope that I can get all this to fit. We're also staying at a hotel. So we have our hotel bag right here that has all of our change of clothes and anything we need. That way we have one bag that I'm grabbing from the car to take to the hotel, all the change of clothes, toothbrushes, everything we need um, for just that one night. And then we were able to whoa, <laughs> jump back in the car and go on our way. So, what? What is it? <laughs> Are you ready for a road trip? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you coming on the trip too? Yeah. Are you coming on the trip? What do you want? Are you wanting something already? Fishies. You want fishies? Yeah. You gotta wait until we get on the road. I fish it. No, no. You want fishy too? Yeah. You taking all the food already? <laughs> Here is our stash of food. Um, what we have the first rack is what we're gonna have during the trip. The second one is for when we're there. Now I need to pack the cooler. What we did is I grabbed a whole bunch of water bottles and we froze them. The whole idea is put these in the cooler and they'll keep your cooler nice and cold instead of putting ice and dealing with water. We have packed um, salads that I pre-did last night. I did... Um, Meal preps for um, sandwiches. I have a whole bunch of different sandwiches for the kids and for Mike. I also froze coffee. Um, this helps to have it sitting out as we're drinking coffee and this will thaw out in time for us to have another round of coffee. So we got all the sandwiches in. Uh, let me remove some of these so you can see. There's um, a lot down there. And then we have these. We have two different kinds of sandwiches. We have dressings. We also have salads down in there. And then these we're gonna keep out because we're gonna eat this close to when we leave. How's it feel, guys? Are you guys ready? Look oh, at you so guys. Excited. We made croissants as sandwiches. 
I know. <laughs> well, funny. yeah, people do that. I can't do it. It's not, like, so good. it's not a weird thing. All right, so I was able to get all of our clothes in these baskets. They're laundry baskets and um, they seal at the top and that's a lot easier than using those plastic baskets I've used in the past. We got Noah's car seat with pillows, more pillows, blankets, blankets, and then the kids' little bags for the car. So not much stuff there. And then we have Mike's stuff over there, his camera stuff. Then we have some fun stuff we're gonna bring while we're there playing games with the projector and stuff. So yeah, this is everything. We're gonna start loading. Man, you guys are packed in like sardines. What are you doing? Drawing pictures of ants. Hello. Don't yeah, Welcome to the road trip. Pray for us. <laughs> Woo! This is gonna be fun, Micah. You fun! That's nice. right. That's, That's nice. right. Mommy is fun. That was nice. I like how your dinosaur is safe. Yeah. So we're all safe. Attempted. Let the trip begin. Look how so it's what? 75 outside or something? Yeah. Sunny. And we're going into Winter? No, we're not. I'm okay, not winter for us. Alright, Jerry and I see a lot of birdies up here. Whoa! Look at all those birds. Isn't that fun? We just got out. Stretched our legs. Eating. Dear, what did you do to your window already? Looks like you got your hands on there. Nice. I already had my salad. We just got into Missouri. What? Er, no. Arizona. Oh. We just got into Arizona. I win. Oh look, the last of the palm trees just went over. Bye palm trees. Let's set the scene here. My dad and his two brothers own roughly around 160 acres and they've built their houses on the land. Also, one of my sisters is living in the original house that came with the land. And I have another sister who is building a house on the land. So a lot of family in this area. So my dad wanted to rent a big tent for a central place for a whole family to get together but there weren't any tents available except this circus tent. But honestly, I think it was pretty fitting. Is that good for you? Mm -hmm. Is that good? Yeah. yeah <laughs> nice sunset. So my sister from New Zealand wasn't able to make it out, 
but we were able to FaceTime with her and get a chance to talk as a whole family, and that was really good. Is it gonna come out of the shell? I don't know, that head. That's where the head comes out, but be very careful with it. Wow, let me see, Fia. If you put it on the ground, it will come out of its shell. Really? It's just, yeah, it's scared right now. Hey, you go finish your food right now. Just wait. Yeah, we just wait. Let me get really close to it so you can hold it very still. Wow, that's a crazy spider. Wow, Micah, look at that. Look at, look at his wings, it looks like me. Wow, Micah. What is that? That's so good. The turtles are moving. Wait, wait, don't go. Hold on. Yeah, don't, don't scare it. friend in there? Yep. Um, what is that? It's eating your grass. Oh, you got me a flower? No. Lean forward a little bit. Lean your feet forward. Good job, Micah. Just lean toward the railing. You did it! I told you! Good job, Micah. Hold on, Jan. Let me see what you have. What are you gonna do with the lizard, Jer? You're gonna take it some food? No shoes on. Micah has a caterpillar, Jer has a lizard. They're having so much fun. All of this open land for the boys to run. One of the highlights of our trip was when Grandpa decided to surprise the kids with something special. See if we can find some vultures.
Well, we didn't see no vultures, but Grandpa made up for it with the bonfire. I'd call that a successful day out in the Ozarks. Today, we're all going into Branson, Missouri because we rented a large house that is going to house all five of our families and all the kids. We are gonna be going to Silver Dollar City for a whole day. Wow. I like how all the kids are running outside. about my brother-in-law, you are looking at a future Chick-fil-A operator. No big deal. This may be, I may have gotten a little divorced. What in the world? I'll take that stuff. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this uh, wonderful time of fellowship and that we all can come out here and just uh, be together. Do you hear the bug? Yeah, we hear the bug. Day, we spent the whole day at Silver Dollar City. Unfortunately, we cannot share that footage with you because it is all for our TV show, Face Your Fears with the Moors. But that night, we were able to make some time for some Mario Kart. Whoa, that one quick. 
I guess it's time to go back to the land. <laughs> Did you grab my hat, sweetheart? Oh, lady. Good? So my sister and her husband, who are building their house on the land, they wanted to take us up to their location and show us around. They are currently living in a fifth wheel with their three children while they're building their house. They have ducks and chickens. It was fun for the kids to get to hold the ducks and pet them. I think Jaira was a little nervous about the ducks. We then got a little tour. It is set up so cute inside, nice and cozy. This is so fun. There's so many places you can run and play. Wow, this is such a cool tree house. Well, the wind started picking up, so we decided to start flying some kites. And Micah was having some trouble with his. Little Micah Man is a fighter, and today, he showed that. He wasn't willing to give up. Good job! Oh wow, it's different! Yay! guys are waiting for me. I want to go shoot. I didn't know where to hide them. What's that barrel cooking? Oh, sorry. It's all right. Four grand. <laughs> Is that like a Waldo <laughs> fanny pack? Well, I just uh, dislocated my finger playing volleyball for about five minutes. So hopefully that's the worst thing that happens to me today. <laughs> All right, Justin, what's the what's the secret here? What? What's the secret? You just lead it a little bit. Okay. And pull. And that's it. You don't think about it. You you just, it's got to be instinct. Go, boy. Okay. All right. What if yeah. you don't have good instincts like yeah. me? <laughs> Can't help you. Oh, that fanny pack's coming in handy. Are these biodegradable, you guys? <laughs> this fanny pack's biodegradable. <laughs> it's a satchel. It's a satchel. Well, that was fun. I guess I'm a little better at throwing clay than I am at shooting clay. So I'll probably just stick with that.
it's gonna rain. <laughs> Freedom! Freedom! <laughs> this looks totally safe. Yeah, we're trying to actually survive. They'll put in work for a picture. It's all for the grams. Those Instagrams. While the girls take Instagram photos, us guys have some work to do. We're taking this refrigerator down to the basement. Are you sure you're in? Yep. All right. You ready to start tipping? Yep. I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need more room though. Here. I've got it. Sure. You can go all the way to the bottom. Yeah. Good job, boys. This, this is for the vlog. Don't forget to push the button. Like that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>